So as we come to the end of the winter here in the UK and get ready for spring, it's time to think about layering and where better start than a new overshirt. Uh, what we have here is a 100% wool overshirt from one of my favourite UK brands at the moment, Peregrine. Uh, this has come from uh, Herring, which is one of my favourite uh, UK distributors down in Kingsbridge, just down the road from in Devon. Worked with them for years, brilliant company. And this is the Dexter overshirt. As I say, 100% wool, uh, made in Yorkshire. And the wool, the material, I think that is the star of the show here. This is a Abraham Moon Tweed. Um, so described as a tweed material. Um, Abraham Moon are a wool mill, uh, also based in Yorkshire, been in operation for the last 180 years. Describe themselves as a vertical wool mill, and one of the few remaining in the UK. Uh, a vertical wool mill means that all processing and manufacturing happen on site, and in the case of Abraham Moon, it is all happening under one roof, three-storey building, and each floor, a different process is completed. So starting off with dyeing on the top floor, weaving on the first, and then um, washing, processing, and cutting on the ground floor. So learned something there, hadn't heard of a vertical wool mill before, but absolutely fantastic material does have that slight uh, itchiness. I'm certainly wearing this with a, a long-sleeved uh, t-shirt, but that's just me. Um, lovely stuff. Got a 100% wool uh, shawl jumper, also from uh, Shawl Cardigan, rather, from Peregrine. Really, really good brand. Um, this is in the CPO style. So for those of you that haven't come across that before, CPO uh, stands for Chief Petty Officer, Naval uh, Origins, and basically it's a overshirt to be worn sort of loose, layered, and untucked. And one of the unique features, and we'll get into this in a bit of detail in a minute with the close-ups, but we've got a hand pocket either side, just so you can pop your hand in there, keep your hands warm when you're on deck, or more normally for us, when you're out having a walk in the spring, autumn or winter. So that's uh, what the shirt is about. In terms of fit, I found Peregrine to be really pretty consistent on fit. So I've got the shawl cardigan, also got one of their wax jackets. I'm medium all the way around and uh, as is this overshirt. Now medium uh, fits me well. I'm about 5'10", 5'11". 12 stone 750 kilograms so pretty average sort of guy and uh medium's pretty good for me but they are pretty consistent i'd say this is fitting true to size so if you're a medium normally great large go for large etc etc but really really nice shirt i reckon this will look great either sort of dressed up a little bit with some chinos for a slightly more formal look or casual with some good quality denim but i think this can do an awful lot in your wardrobe layering it over a t-shirt, under a coat. I think this is gonna be really, really helpful in the spring and autumn. So what we'll do is we'll come in for some close-ups. First thing to look at is obviously this wonderful uh, tweed fabric. It's pretty consistent both inside and out. It's not one of those fabrics which is brushed on one side or the other. It's, you can see the sort of woven nature of it with a good amount of sort of uh, brushed material on either side. It's quite processed, if you will. So with the shawl cardigan, you can really smell that lanolin in the wool, but I'm imagining this does take a fair bit more processing to get these thinner woven strands. Really, really nice and warm, cozy. But as I say, for me, I need a layer below it. It's got that slight itchiness on the skin, but you know we're talking about layering here, so that is no problem at all. Just looking down the front of the shirt here, nice Peregrine branded buttons throughout. Um, 
Peregrine labels, the top medium as I said, true to size. A couple of nice little pockets with bellows details on the front here and a little bit of uh, check mustard and indigo lining on each. Quite a nice little feature. Moving down, we've talked about the CPO style, Chief Petty Officer, and there you have the hand warning, warming pocket. Quite low down, but you're wearing this sort of untucked, casual and layered. A little dart at the side here. Not sure whether that's just to facilitate the pocket opening or to help with a bit of tailoring to bring the uh, cinch the waist in a little. On the back, a simple, a simple yoke across the shoulders, uh, but no other particular detailing. And a little tab at the side with Made in England since 19 or 1796 rather, branding. Just opening up, we can see on the inside we've got that lovely fabric throughout, same texture as the outside, and some really nice detailing on the seams. Initially, I was thinking about describing this as a taped seam, which is what you might have on a waterproof jacket, but this is actually what would be called a bonded seam. So underneath this a little bit of uh, fabric taping, the edges are glued together. That gives a strong, low profile seam, much better than stitching on a material like this. At the bottom here, we've obviously got some branding, got Peregrine's label, and also the Abraham Moon quality British cloth since 1837 so this is their tweed and you've got the inside of the uh, hand pocket and they've taken the opportunity to create a little internal pocket also lined find that really helpful um, got that on a, a type 3 denim jacket and I'm surprised how often that's a really great place to pop your phone or your wallet and then keep the outer pocket just for your hands and keeping them toasty. On the other side we've got the same again, a little bit of branding at the bottom there, Peregrine, but more importantly we've got the care label. As with any wool product this isn't a sort of low maintenance chuck it in the washing machine affair. When you do come to washing this, you do need to hand wash cold. Uh, so something to bear in mind, but being a outer layer, you're not gonna need to wash this very often. But yeah, lovely quality. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the review. Really nicely made shirt, very, very pleased with this. Um, one thing to mention, it is a premium shirt. Um, very nicely made, all wool, made in the UK. It does command a fairly premium price, so this is £195 uh, on their website. If you go to Herring and use my code below, you'll get 10% off, uh, which I think brings it to quite a good price point. Um, lovely shirt. If you want to find out more about Peregrine, as I say, I've reviewed a couple of their products before. Shaw Cardigan, Wax Jacket. Um, really, really nice brand. I don't think we're talking about it enough. Um, but let's change that, have a look at my reviews. If you haven't seen my channel before, Please check it out. Lots of quality uh, clothing, denim, footwear. Um, check it out. Might share some other common interests. If you've had one of these shirts or have an opinion on Peregrine clothing in general, please share that below. And of course, I'll see you for the next video. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye bye.